Alright, so I dropped the kids off. They decided it was too cloudy, too windy, which it really is. It's uh, pretty terrible conditions. But, grabbed my 9 weight, got a little Avalon that uh, the Tommy tied up. Let's see if we can catch some bones. But also, got my, uh, my IRT fly reel. Pretty awesome reel. It's actually got anti-reverse on it, so no knuckle busting. And a really cool feature, drag adjust quickly here. But if you're fight, you're gonna strip off line, couple pounds of drag. If you're gonna fight a fish, flip it there, and you have a lot more drag for fighting fish. It really makes it nice for, for offshore, for tarpon fishing, permit fishing, to have that just quick adjustment of the drag. So mostly reason, reason I'm using the nine weight today is just it's really hot, really hard to, really difficult to cast with a uh, seven weight. So let's see if we can find us a bone. As soon as I turned the camera off, I hooked up. I don't think it's a bone though. Um, if it is, he's not very big. He's made a run, but I'm not in the backing. Could be a big snapper actually. Um, just the way he's fighting. I don't know. If it's a bone, he hasn't woken up yet. You know? I saw some nervous water. Uh, a little better. So, yeah, it's a bone. I saw some nervous water and uh, oh, he's by that coral head. Get away from that. Made a cast, couldn't tell what it was, but uh, didn't even have to strip. Like, oh, I lost him. As soon as it hit the water, he just crushed it. You know? I think it's just a small bone. I think I lost my Avalon right there. He had her in that little coral head. This guy right here kills it when conditions are like this. It's one that David Randall from R3 Flies tied up for me. And uh, know, it's a little orange. It's, you know, it's a little bigger for a bonefish fly. It's got these orange legs, orange little hot spot head right there. And when conditions are like this, um, just watch. I just saw a fish tailing not far from me. He's heading out deeper. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna see this one. But he's on it, he's on it. Oh, why didn't he eat? Oh, there he was. Got him, got him. Get him on the reel. There we go. He's a big fish too. Took long enough today, huh? And backing! Bet he's a five pounder. I could see like eight or nine fish right there. And this one, ooh, look at that, that's a good run. He was way ahead of the pack, much bigger. Here's what I wanted. Hopefully he'll stay hooked up. He is big. He's still on there. Cool thing on this IRT, besides the no knuckle busting, if you're really trying to gain on a fish fast and he turns, he can still pull drag. Oh, he may have gotten off. Nah, he's still there. He can turn and pull drag. And it doesn't just uh, you know pop off if you're reeling fast and he turns around and goes the other direction, 100 miles an hour like they do. He's gonna get back in backing again. Sweetest reel ever. Really hope I land this fish. I got 20 pound tippet on here. This drag isn't light. I mean this is a big fish. He's not 10 pounds, but he's uh, he's no little schooly bone either. Good thing is where he is in the flat, there's not too much for him to break off on. Most of the sticks and big coral heads, all that kind of stuff is another 100 yards down. So uh, unless he makes this run real shallow right here, he's not gonna get, get on too much coral. He is pretty shallow. I see him already, he's right here. Got some mangroves here to worry about, but I think we're good.
It's amazing how strong these fish are. For how small, I mean, just like pound for pound, the fight these guys put up. You know, bones and permit are just, just incredible fish. A little rocket on the flats. This guy's not, he's not even as big as I thought he was. He has the biggest one in that school, but he's, uh, he's not huge. This flat's one of the only flats where you really have to watch for sharks. I've lost a few bones to sharks here. It didn't happen too much around here. This flat will do it. A little deeper channel right there. If the bones make a run straight out, the sharks will smash them. This guy really doesn't want to see us. Look at the fish. Take him for a walk over here. Beautiful. And now the best part of the bonefish is that release shot. There he goes. May catch one more call see how the kids are doing see if it's dinner time or if i'm allowed to go catch tarpon or what oh there he was fish eat it this dude took me to the back fast super fast he's not i don't like the way he's going though there's some nasty stuff over that way As I was saying, nasty stuff over that way. Let's see if he unhooks himself. He did. Beautiful. Ah. Worst is when permit do that. You're wrapped around those coral heads. Oh. oh, check this out. Jack coming right by our feet. He hit right at my feet, had me to the backing in no time. Just took off. There he is. You can see him now. The average, averageish fish. There's a little fish following him.
it's okay. Later. It's pretty good. I think I'm gonna call it a day. Um, we did pretty good. Caught a few, uh, few decent fish. Caught some nice bones. Um, you know, considering the conditions, I think we did really well. And you guys can see how that new IRG fly reel works. So, I think it's time for me to head to the house, get something to eat, check on our bird, and go play with the kids.